Uh, hey guys, today we're just going to be hanging out. It's a it's a Sunday here at the ranch. Football's going. You know, Karen's hanging out in the house. So is Ryan. He's got a friend over, and I'm honestly I'm just going to hang out with Raven. Everybody's been asking where is he. I've kind of dabbled a little bit here and there. We definitely we got the one good session with him where I where I started him for the first time and got on him. And actually, you've seen me on him bareback more than anything. I'm not going to spend a ton of time, but I'm just going to mess around with him, brush him. Um, I can see he needs some fly spray. He's loving this new pen out here. I, I didn't want to do a ton with him just because I wanted to let him kind of settle in. You know, he was a little underweight, and I'm sure it was a little overwhelming for him just to come to a new place like this. So I kind of wanted to let him hang out, uh, and it worked out good because I had some horse shows and stuff to go to. And, uh, you know, I've, I've come and met, got him out here and there, but uh, you know, it's kind of like my after school project. I think I'm gonna mess around with some mark training. That, um, that's something that kind of fascinated. I don't really have a lot of time to do it because I'm you know, training reining horses all the time, but it's something I wanna mess around with. And I've had a couple guys, a buddy of mine, Josh Lyons, show me some stuff. And um, I've talked to Dan James over the phone. I just recently talked to him really cool guy over in the Middle East that uh, does some incredible stuff. So I'm, I'm eager to work with them. I don't know how much time I have, but I figured, you know what, it's my horse. I'm gonna try it and see, uh, see how it turns out. But before I grab Raven, um, I want you guys to meet. We got a newcomer here at the ranch. We got a, we got a greenhorn. Daniel, come on over here. Those of you who saw my, uh, my Facebook post, we had, a, we had a spot, come on over here, buddy. We had a spot for an intern and uh, this guy here, he was on it. Like, I mean, lickety split, called right away. I love how, how uh, you know, aggressive and, and you jumped right on an opportunity, but tell, tell us a little about yourself. Dan, I'm, uh, I'm from Michigan, flew down here yesterday. Yeah, yesterday and got to work. I actually, I grew up in New York, Buffalo, and went to Michigan, started training horses, and uh, it's just been a, it's been a up and down road, and then I saw Matt's post, and I, I, I jumped on it. Yeah, <laughs> like you said, I was aggressive. I was like, I gotta get yeah. this. There was, I mean, uh, there was a lot of people that, uh, it was a great, great response, but yeah. and you hit the ground run as soon as you got here, yeah. we had you doing stuff, huh? Yeah. No, it's been, it's been busy two days. Yeah, so. that's the way it always is around here. So anyway, we're glad you're here. I gave him a hat, one ball cap, and he's like, am I on the team? And I said, well, that's a little early yet. You know, no free passes. Got 90 days to see how you do. So, yeah, you started off right, so. And now it's time to play everyone's favorite game, Can Daniel Make It? Kenny? You're going to be one of the few that gets to see me work this horse. Uh, what, Troy Stansbury, Ryan's seen it. Not very many people have seen me work this horse at all. Let's see what you got. See what I got? Let's see what you got. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. are dirty buddy well that's a good sign he's out in this big pen here he's letting me catch him I just felt like uh, well you guys saw you saw me riding bareback out here but I just felt like since I know I wasn't gonna have a ton of time to get him out every single day I wanted him out we had this nice great big pen here there was nobody in it and I thought you know he can kind of exercise himself out here and I don't have to feel bad that I didn't get him out hey look at that <laughs> he likes the camera He's leading a lot better. Yeah, he seems pretty, pretty relaxed. I'm gonna try this out with this rope. Okay. All right. Getting better and better about all of this. It's got some feel. <laughs> Little cluck and he's moving. You think you're gonna do any raining with him? Man, I don't know. I mean. 
I might. I mean, a couple of those rollbacks in the fence, it looked like he actually could stop. And a couple times I've ridden him, he feels like he's pretty handy, like he could turn. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try a little bit of everything, I think. Good boy. Pretty smart. He's pretty agile too. Like, see how he moves that hind end? He never really steps on himself very much. He's pretty athletic. Well, yeah, he had to step over all those beer cans. <laughs> <laughs> We're not in Florence anymore, Raven. I'm just trying to guess. I'm messing around at my own speed here, just trying to get him as connected to me as I can. He's doing good. Come here, Mike. Come here, Mike. Give me two eyes, Mike. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Out of way, Mike. Good boy. Forwards, backwards, left and right. Come here, boy. Very good. Very good. I'm trying to decide now. Do I want to get on and ride him? Or do I want to mess around with this mark training? What do you think, Ryan? You, you said you did it with a rooster? Yeah. And it worked pretty good? It took me about an hour and about... Six cores lights, <laughs> and uh, he got pretty good at it. I mean, I would think it would have to, that kind of stuff too, like mentally for him, would be really good for Oh, him. yeah, I mean, it's pressure release. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, I put pressure on you when you step on this thing, you get the release. And once a horse, if they have half, I mean, it's a great way to tell if your horse has them what kind of brains they have. Because I mean, once they figure that out, you would think that'd be all they want to do. The one thing that I am gonna probably have to do today is give him a bath, which that has been the toughest thing to do. Get him to go in that darn wash rack. I've got him in there, but he doesn't like it. Maybe Mark train him to go into the wash rack. Yes. Yeah, but I think the thing, I think I need to get him trained to go to the Mark. I think we gotta crawl before we walk, I think. Yeah. I'm sure there's gonna be many, many people out there that are gonna tell me what I should be doing and how to do it, and I appreciate <laughs> all of you. Can you give me that piece of plywood? But, uh, but shut up. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm gonna do this, do this, oh, we're not a fan of the mark already. Have a look at this piece of plywood, Mike. He's not sure he likes it. Pretty sure he doesn't like it. Daniel, what should I do next? Approach and retreat, approach and retreat. Approach and retreat? Yeah. Appro where'd you learn that? Uh, from the Aussie guy. Oh, is this a Clinton Anderson deal? It's a Clinton Anderson thing. Approach and retreat. Oh, Approach yeah. and retreat. Approach and retreat, mate. <laughs> Approach and retreat. Do you have a handy stick, Daniel? No, I can't afford that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, buddy? Come here. Hmm? Approach and retreat. What I think I'm gonna do, I know I've seen like you can put the rope around the round pin, which I don't think this round pin's very sturdy, and I can put pressure on until he goes. I'm just thinking out loud for you guys here. I think I'm just gonna lunge him, and then I'm just gonna kind of offer, right for a minute here, I don't think it's gonna matter what I do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work him away from this, this piece of wood. When he gets close to it, I'm gonna release. That's gonna be how, that's, that's how we're gonna start this off. Then we'll just see what happens. Again, I'm, I'm no professional mark trainer. But it um, can't be that hard if, if Clinton can do it. <laughs> Burn. If Clinton can do it, I'm pretty sure I can figure it out. So I think what we'll do then, he, he doesn't like it, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go away from it. Boy, he really doesn't like it. And we're gonna, we're gonna get him out of that zone, find that circle where he's okay, and I'm gonna start working him. And we're gonna start working our way closer. I had a bigger piece of plywood and I'd just go making it smaller. We'll just start off hard right out of the gate, huh? <laughs> you know what I mean? If we had a bigger piece, get him used to stepping on it and then shrink it down and start to take away all the, the help. There's probably a book out there I could buy to tell me that, but I'm, I've never been like an owner's manual kind of guy. Like I buy something and you know, you could 
look at the instructions. Nah, let's just figure it out. He acts like he knows what he's doing. What do you mean, like he knows that you want him to walk on it? Yeah. He's actually starting off better than Rooster did. Really? Yeah. Retreat, retreat, mate. Well, you know, this kind of makes sense because this is like the kind of stuff that he didn't like with the wash rack. Like stepping on different stuff. Yeah. He didn't like that. I've gotten closer to it this way. This is a great lesson and don't be afraid to change your approach. The best approach, you know what the best approach is? The one that works. Wow, we're so close. Watch him like step on it and then just run me over. <laughs> Stepped on it, didn't he? Yeah, we got a toe on it. Most of all these things, it's like, if you use your head and stay patient and calm, you're gonna win. Now, it might not be in the time frame that you want it to be in, but like there, he's got a toe on it. I know I'm gonna win. And there is no right or wrong way. Like I said, it's, you know, did you get it done or not? And does he look too, he doesn't look too stressed. I don't mind if they get a little stressed. It's like when I was a kid, you know, your parents are telling you to do something. You didn't always like it. You didn't always have a smile on your face. Good boy. Gold medal formula in action. Right, this is uncharted waters, boldly going where no reigning horse trainer has gone before. Captain's log. <laughs> <laughs> you think he'd go on that wood now? Why you gotta go and do stuff like that? <laughs> huh? Jeez. I had forgotten about the wood. Good boy. I had forgotten about the wood. Whoa, Raven. Whoa. Don't move. That's pretty damn cool that he's even doing that, huh? Yeah. He's licking his lips. Classic sign of submission. Tell you what, Clinton's lucky I didn't decide to do this for a living. Can you imagine if I like really went after it? Now I'm sounding like Steve. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I'm out of here. All right, we were gonna be good and we were gonna wrap this up, but now Now we've got to, we've got to do the wood now. Oh snap. Raven, please, please step on the wood. I'm so hungry. Come on, buddy. Oh, there's one foot. Oh no. Come on, come on, come on. So I'm just, I just want him I want to see if I can get him to step up there and figure out that it's not gonna, it's not gonna get him. And then I'll quit messing with him when he does and I'll groom him or let him stand or whatever. 
and then ultimately I'd go right back to what I was trying to do in the first place, which was kind of halfway lunge him and then send him over there and see if he'd kind of figure out, huh, if I go over here, he leaves me alone, which what he was thinking was if I run away, run to the other side of the round pen, he leaves me alone. So what I'm trying to do is reverse that, psych that thought in his mind or change it to where instead of trying to run, he thinks, boy, if I run to this spot, this spot, that he leaves me alone. He just had two feet on it, didn't he? Yeah. Maybe if I had a handy stick, this would have gone faster. Yeah, probably. Instead of the raggedy stick. Handy sticks will up your game by 20, 25%. You can know nothing about horse training and just with a handy stick. <laughs> Good on horses and kids. <laughs> One more, buddy. Come on. Step up. There you go, mate. Clinton, you can head on over to mattmillsrainy.com and sign up for the gold medal formula. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Get you a discount code or something. <laughs> no, no discount. He can afford it. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm going to leave this alone. I think there's some other steps, like, and if I step on that, he's supposed to get off. I'll have to go back and watch some YouTube videos and come back. Good boy. Well, now maybe we should go back and try the original stunt. I should quit. Why don't I quit while I'm ahead? There's gonna be a link below, guys, at GoFundMe for uh, Matt Mills Raining Horse new lunge whip. You guys can see we're really getting down to bare bones here. Maybe I can get a sponsorship. Good boy, good boy, good boy. We got him to do it. Does this count? Want to see two feet. Oh, jeez. Oh, dang. I knew it. Damn, Daniel. One and a half? I'll count one and a half. Two? Oh, there it is. How about that? I think that counts. It's funny, though. It's like, he, it's like he's not really afraid to put his feet on there. It's like he's not doing it out of principle. Yeah. He's yeah, like, oh, he's so like, I'm not going to do it, so I'm not going to yeah. do it. Oh, I, I know what you want, <laughs> but I'm not going to do it. Woo! I can teach a Mustang to stand on a piece of plywood. <laughs> yes! we got to start getting him dialed in like all the other horses. All the other horses have to get led by a ranger. Let's see what happens with him. Don't go too fast. Try not to go on the rocks if you can. Go ahead. This is gonna work or it's not. Go ahead. A little faster. Right there. Come on, bud. All right. Well, that was uneventful. Look at you don't have to worry about Mark training to his pin. Shortly after the recording of this video, Daniel did not make it, not even close. But if you think you have what it takes, message Team Matt Mills Raining today. Damn, Daniel. You just always gotta watch out with those Mustangs. They're like the one breed that is completely fine with running right over top of people. Right? Yeah. That's good to know, Ryan, thank you. <laughs> good thing I am, uh... Got the reflexes of a cat. <laughs> I was gonna put a little more pressure on him, but I was worried he's gonna run me over after you said that. <laughs> <laughs>